So with season 1 here, season of the malignant, everybody has started fresh. This means guys that we are going into this season as basically brand new players, brand new characters. And many many things have changed in regards to XP, how it's earned, how much you earn this that and the other today guys i bring you five incredible spots for earning xp early game which will work for every kind of player how's it going guys my name is dpj and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe so some of these xp spots will be known to some not known to others i've tried and tested each and every one and i'm pretty certain early on guys from a 1 to a level 50, these are by far the best XP farms this game has to offer. Now we also understand we're basically on brand new characters here with rubbish gear, uh, trying to level up, trying to earn the XP. Things like dungeons and harder dungeons are going to be pretty hard for you to run, especially as a solo player. Today guys, like I said, I bring you some great, great spots. Dungeons included, but much, much easier dungeons than you probably expect. Uh, like again, I've tried and tested these on a brand new character, my rogue. Never used Rogue before, my character's all over the place, but even still, I can run these things super, super fast, super, super efficient. But we'll leave the dungeons until last, because I know you guys may have tried some early on already, and you may be struggling a little, but hey, that doesn't matter. Okay, so the first one I'm going to showcase to you guys is this one right here. So if you come down to this area here, guys, this PvP area, and I wouldn't worry about, I've been down here for about an hour, my mates have two, uh, haven't come across one person uh, trying to take out other players. It's literally everybody doing the same thing, and that is slaying the massive amounts of enemies that are down here. These will give you great loot, they will give you great XP, gold, you name it guys, you get it from down here. This isn't the fastest, by far this is not the fastest as an early level player, but it is super, super efficient. If you're in a team, it's even quicker, uh, but it can... I was doing it solo for the most part and it was so so easy I got I think like two or three levels in little under seven minutes and I mean that's quite good going if you ask me now there are elites down here too again uh, some harder hitting enemies some bosses that you may need help with in regards to other players in the area but it seems as though within these early days of season one a lot of people down here are doing the same thing they're farming these enemies for that easy xp and ranking through those levels so yes guys come down to this denshaw waypoint make your way down here just run around this area guys farming that xp it really is that simple again you'll get loot as well which is all important in regards to you surviving uh, and doing those uh, dungeons and other things that you will experience as you level up so yeah do what you gotta do guys and come down here now another spot which is absolutely amazing and it's a place i've covered quite a few times and it's this event here there's an event that's on a loop here that's here for me Eight or nine times out of ten, it's always here. Now, I tried and tested this again. Season one, it works just as good. So, you want to come to the Azura Waypoint. You can see this in dry steps right here, guys. So, you want to come here and just make your way down here. Again, I've covered this before. You probably know about this already. But if you don't, I'll explain it. When you come to this area, guys, there is, like I said, eight or nine times out of ten, there's an event going on here. The event is so easy to do normally, it's probably just rescuing prisoners, taking out certain objectives, but it's so, so quick. You do that, you kill an elite, you kill a boss, you get a chest, you get those obols, you get that gold, you get that loot, and you earn XP. But again, you'll earn XP for doing the enemies, killing the enemies in the area too. And then when you, once you're done with the event, you simply just press down on your D-pad if you're on console, and you'll fast travel back to your nearest town. Then guys, once you're at your nearest town, step back through that teleporter and when you get here, again, 8 times out of 10, there will be an event ongoing here or just about to start. So you can just rinse and repeat this over and over. With this as well, you get those obols. Those obols can be spent at the uh, the gamblers and earn that specific loot if you're after that. Or if you just want to spam out buying any loot and earn that gold, you can do that too. But this is a great, great spot for loot moss. You get XP for this, don't get it twisted. It isn't as good as the PvE area down here. But it's definitely, definitely great. You still earn great XP for this. So yes, take advantage of this, guys, and do what you gotta do. Now, there are three dungeons I have tried and tested. They're absolutely incredible for XP. 
but are also easy to run as a solo player. Now again, all of these are great as solo play, uh, for solo players, but are better if you're in a team. There's no two which ways about that. If you're in a team, it's just going to be more efficient. You'll earn it more XP because you're in a team. But hey, so the three dungeons, the first we're going to start with, the also classic Blind Burrows. Now this is probably the easiest one of the three because the enemies in here just don't really hit that hard. It's full of spiders. You can run this pretty quick too, so it's super, super efficient. You get a ton of loot from this one. I wouldn't say it's the best XP farm uh, that I'll showcase to you today, but it is pretty good. So just come here, guys, run this. I mean, if you want to go run up to the bus or take out the bus, the bus is the hardest part of this. The bus is literally the hardest part of this. Again, we are early new players to season one. Your gear, your, you ain't got an end game build at the minute. So it's going to take you a lot longer than it would normally, which is just fair enough. you got to keep that in mind too. And taking on a boss, the boss in here is annoying as heck. It's dropping up poison all over the floor. You're running around in circles most of the time. But hey, run it up until the boss. Take out the boss. If you're in a team, take out the boss. Earn more XP. Just rinse and repeat this one. It really is great. And the Blind Burrows is still one of the best dungeons in the game to farm for XP. And it's not changed with Season 1. Another one which is absolutely great in my opinion i've covered this over the past couple of weeks so if you come to your overshad right here and you want to make your way up to this dungeon up here mercy's reach now mercy's reach is actually a quite a short dungeon i mean i never really ran it up to the very the end boss but if you do it's still short but there's plenty of elites in here so once you come to this place you're coming you'll you'll see multiple groups of enemies take them all out and you'll see quite a few elites to take them out uh, the next objective is to basically grab two items for the pedestals there's going to be two rooms that are going to be full of enemies you go into these rooms guys take out all of these ads there's so much xp to be earned from this one and because you can do pretty quickly it's super super efficient in that way again do what you got to do clear out these two rooms grab those items for the pedestal and make your way further down and just go on to the boss and take it the boss in this one is pretty easy too i mean he's got like a, a fat health bar his health is quite tanky let's not lie there but his attacks he's got nothing that really does any damage to you he's nowhere near as bad as the blind burrows boss so yeah it's just a neat easy easy dungeon to run and farm so do what you got to do there guys now the best dungeon for me and the quickest and the most XP and the most loot you'll get is definitely guys Alder's Cave. Now Alder's Cave is a well known popular uh, dungeon but it's so so easy to run. The hardest part about this is those beasts. I mean but even they drop pretty easily. I mean just like I said we are low levels. Um, I actually expected to struggle going into this one because the amount of ads that are in this. But it's so easy. It's so easy on my rogue who's got a poor build. I don't know what I'm doing. My loot's all over the place. My gear's all over the place. And it's still super, super easy. Now, all this cave, as you can see right here on the map, guys. The closest waypoints I have, there's one here that I haven't unlocked. Well, there's actually two here I haven't unlocked yet. But um, this main one you should have unlocked already. So come from here and just come up to it. Once you're in here, guys, you can just go ahead and farm this thing. Now, the first section of this, you need to destroy three barriers, I do believe. And the second part, there is just a kill all. There's no boss in here, which is even, well, efficiency-wise, it's much, much better. So you just come to the kill all area after you've destroyed the three, uh, not barrier, your barrier is barricade, same thing. Yeah, after you've done that, you come to a kill all area. There's plenty of elites, loads of grouped up enemies. The area is quite small. It's like two circles pinned next to each other. Just run around in those circles, take out those enemies, and do what you gotta do, guys. It is a great, great, great dungeon for XP. It's probably the best in the game. I ain't on PC, I can't calculate it, but odds are, in my opinion, it's probably gotta be top two or three in the game for XP. If you're doing this in a co-op, it's gonna be even quicker. Now, if you don't know how to farm dungeons in this game, it's simple. You run the dungeon, you then leave the dungeon, quit out your game, load back up rinse and repeat that's if you're a solo player if you're playing in a party if you're playing in a team all you do is run the dungeon guys the host of that party simply leaves the dungeon via the social menu he will then teleport to being outside of that dungeon door he then guys invites you back into his team 
Then you simply re-enter the dungeon and all enemies will have reset. And you can do, do that over and over and over again. And it's as simple as that guys. But yes, they are great, great methods in earning XP as a new player. To, well, I say a new player to the game, as a freshly created character to the game. A lot of people already know about these methods, know two which ways about it. Some will have forgot about these. But again, if you play, you play in Season 1, if you create a new character, a character you've never played on before, you probably feel like you're just a, so squishy, you don't know what you're doing. But each and every one of these methods I've showcased you today, guys, will earn you XP. Solo, team, do what you gotta do, people. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If any more XP farms are found or I'm told about, I'll be sure to let you guys know. But as of right now, these are probably some of the best you're going to get, especially getting to that level 50 from a level 1. Guys, again, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Diablo 4, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.